All right, just when you thought it was over, we are back. Case killed. Paper Wars 101. Compass Games. Axis invasion of North America. Uh, Dunkirk didn't happen. They trapped them all, and the English negotiated a peace treaty. So uh, this game, uh, both the Japanese and the Germans are attacking East Coast, West Coast. <coughs> Parallel game, I would say, is uh, more detailed. Something called SS America came up a while back. Uh, maybe I'll pull that up in another one, but here we go. The Japanese were basically um, effectively through the use of an atom bomb on their beachhead. Put them out of supply for a turn, <coughs> and the uh, U.S. was able to seal them off uh, north of Seattle. Or, I'm sorry, not uh, just south of Seattle. Yep, they landed here, and uh, over time, the U.S. basically wiped them out. And luckily, <coughs> prevented all these Japanese armies <coughs> from landing. If these units had been able to land, it would have been tough going. Uh, the big difference with the Germans is they landed and captured Charleston on the first turn. <coughs> so even though the U.S. could atom bomb their beachhead, they had supplies through Charleston. And now they're trying to make a run on Tulsa. Uh, the problem was, if you were watching the videos, the game effectively ended <coughs> here on turn 10, end of turn 10, because starting on turn 9, you roll at the end of every turn, and if you get within this range, <coughs> the German and or Japanese economy collapses trying to support this war. So I call this recording the epilogue, or what if. Um, I'm going to play a few turns here of the Germans and see just how close they can get to Tulsa. Two victory conditions, 26 cities, which they're not going to do. They have three right now, five, six maybe they can get to, so that's not a possibility. But there is sudden death if the Germans or the Japanese are able to take. <coughs> this stands for New District of Columbia. And you can see the Germans are here, uh, coming up on the banks of the Mississippi. The problem, though, is, well, the problem initially is this. Uh, they've lost all these units, and they don't come back when fully eliminated. And it's getting tougher and tougher for them to stretch from the beachhead and get to Tulsa. Um, they just cleared out Jacksonville here. They're coming up here. Uh, they've tried Mobile, but they've failed. Um, so that means, in theory, U.S. units could appear here as reinforcements or replacements. So uh, as they get closer and as units get left behind to protect the flanks, uh, they're running out of steam. And there's always this atom bomb every turn that the U.S. gets. They can mess up now their spearheads. They can't get supply from the Gulf because, uh, if you read the rules, they're... Naval logistical support can't really extend into the Gulf, only the Atlantic coast, so. Um, but we'll see. But actually, when I was playing the real game, I rolled a 2 at the end of turn 10, and that was all she wrote. Uh, the Axis, or German socioeconomic clap, collapse, and perhaps all these units surrender, or who knows what, but... What I want to do here, hopefully in an abbreviated form, is play a few more turns and see if they peter out and, and or if the U.S. now is able to drive for the Florida Panhandle and the Gulf and actually cut these units off. Um, either way, we'll see. I don't think they'll make it, but thought we'd give them a chance here. So I'm going to try and do this in an abbreviated way. Uh, I'm not going to really spend a lot of time on the rules here. I just know already from playing, the first thing we do is U.S. Air Power, which I need to find them. Up oh, there's one right there. Okay. Uh, I'm missing another one, but it doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and roll for U.S. Air Power. And here we go. We're down here. Ooh, nothing! 
no US air power. Wow. Okay, now we get replacements, and actually this is going to mess things up with the uh, West Coast out of the game. Basically, I just take half the replacements every turn. Oh, that's nice. Thanks for telling me that. There's something wrong with this unit. I think I set it up wrong. Yep, there's only four, so I'm going to pull two. This way I don't know what they are. Uh, here's one. And here's two. So, where would the U.S. want to put these reinforcements? Well, I know we want one here. Can't place any U.S. units on Tulsa. Um, I guess Houston. That way they can reinforce here. And then the atomic bomb phase with no air power. We're going to have a minus three on anything we roll. So we're going to drop it here on the spearheads again. I think so. Yep. And that's a dud. One. So that pretty much ends that. So that takes us to the German combat move, move combat. Well, certainly not going to be combat move. So I'm going to go ahead and do that offline and we'll come back and talk about it. Alright, that's the end of the German move here for turn... Um, I might as well move it here. Turn 11, where it's a 50-50 chance the game will end. And we can see what they did. Uh, basically, this guy moved down to seal off the Florida Peninsula, or whatever we'll call it here. So if any reinforcements come up here, we'll stop them. Uh, they moved down here and abandoned Charleston. And they're building a line anchored on Savannah now. And they've still got Jacksonville um, as a secondary backup port. So they're still okay with supply. Um, and you see extended out a line of British German infantry uh, trying to cover their flank here. Uh, then they're, they're going to, they need to clear Mobile. <coughs> and I'm going to check, but I'm pretty sure I can use a concentric attack, which will take out the two left shift. Give me a two right for concentric and we're in. <coughs> and naturally they're going to continue driving. Um, see if they make it or not. So we'll go ahead and do the attacks. Uh, this one first, and let me see here. I take that back. Concentric attack bonus is not available when doing an attack on a city, rule 12.14. But they did get to 12, 14, 16, down one is 15, so they are on the 15 with a two shift. Um, let's see what that does for us. That's strange. Something funny with my display here. Okay, let's look at uh, 15 with a 2 shift. Yeah, I'm getting some display problems here. I'll roll this and refresh, but 15 with a 2 shift gives us a 5, anything but a 6. 4, okay, we took it. Um, 15, 2 shift, 4, and that's 1, 1. Let's see if I get some more mess up here. Nope, that's good. So this gets replaced. Uh, so if we were counting cities, they're doing pretty... Well, if they were doing this earlier in the game, we'll advance this guy here, and we'll go ahead and delete this. So that attack was successful. And I refresh my screen to clean things up. And now the big attack here. Let's see what we got. Okay. Well, that's hopefully overkill. 16, 24, 28. It's the 25 column. Okay, the roll is four. Okay, they dodged losses, and that guy's dead. That's good. Put him in here. <coughs> um, now we got to figure out who to advance after combat. Well, let's move this guy. Yeah. Um, all right, one, two, three, four, five, six hexes from victory. This feels like the Battle of the Bulge in that movie where the guy's driving for the Muse and forgot the actor's name. He gets the German U.S. Supply Depot and they roll the, the cans of fuel under him. Um, yeah, so successful attacks for the Germans. 
Uh, now it's the US phase. Um, okay, I'm going to pause it here. Uh, basically, we'll, we'll pause it, but uh, they're probably going to do well. I don't know. If they got lucky here, they could end the game. Uh, what's an 8 look like? 5. Oh, 1 or 2 and they win the game. <laughs> because they destroy the unit and in movement they could go right to the coast. I don't know. Is that worth it? I don't know. Um, anyway. Wow. Uh, actually, we may end the game this turn if I I just looked at this and uh, uh, that's an. Let's see. Sorry, my headphones keep turning off. Um, they could attack here with a plus five, and they can attack here with a plus five. And if either of these work, in theory, they can come down the coast and uh, cut off the spearheads. Um, so, uh, let's do it. Crapshoot here. Either one of these, you get a one or a two, and it's potentially game over. Um, let's do this one first. See, if we can win with this one, we don't have to do the second one. So this is a plus eight, um, which is really a plus five, and did I do that right? Hold on. Holy smoke, a plus five. No, there it is. Defender's going to lose something. Um, anywhere here. Oh, i got to get two steps. That's it. Two steps. Okay. That's why I needed the one or two. And these two, if both these were adjacent, they could have do separate. So let's do the first one. Survey says on a plus five. Going to stick with whatever die roll Vassal gives me. A three. They came up short. It's a one-one. So this guy gets flipped, and then this guy goes here. Oops, not both of them. Okay, that done. Now we go here. Plus five, and a one or two ends it. Gonna go with the die roll, whatever it is. Survey says. Three. Wow. Desperate defense from the Germans. Desperate. Um, something freaky going on with this unit. We'll assume he was full strength. Oh, wait. He wasn't. Hold on. He was there last turn. He got a replacement. He got a replacement during the strategic phase, so he comes back. I didn't do that. I keep forgetting to do that. So they desperately tried here. One in three chance on two attacks. I don't know what the odds are there. And they stopped. Either one of those units rolled a one or two. The U.S. would have been on the Gulf Coast on the panhandle here. Probably Destin, Florida. And these would have been sealed off. But it didn't happen. So now it's U.S. move. And I'll pause for that. All right. Actually, uh, things are getting a little more desperate for the U.S. too. Um, they're running out of units. Well, that's because we choose to keep these concentrated here to keep threatening here. I mean, if they can pull it off, um, it's game over. I'm even thinking of moving the German line back now a little just to keep feeding into here. Um, but it's close. Uh, it's close. So that's the U.S. move. We're done with uh, turn, turn 10. Uh, turn 11, I'm sorry. Turn 11 is done. So it would be a 1, 2, 3 just for the heck of it. I'll roll the die. Let's assume last turn we didn't get it. Let's turn. Okay. In theory, the game's continuing. Yeah, notice also the U.S. is pretty much now they're going to cheat and use this barrier here. U.S. East units and German units can't cross here. Um, but uh, they're basically using that as a line here to slow them down coming into Tulsa. <coughs> That's what it's all going to boil down to. But they had to keep this covered too because you didn't want one of these units running up here and taking out this. Um, to keep these units concentrated here, we'll assume Patton's in command. They even had to leave Atlanta to its garrison here. and 
Go ahead, Germans, attack Atlanta. I mean, that's great, but it won't get you anything. So the Germans actually, with that shortening, well, they're going to have to seal all these off for reinforcements, but they have a chance here, you know, barring the end of the game. It's coming down to the wire, so um, I'm going to go ahead and proceed into the next turn just to keep this going here. Turn 12, and we do this. We roll for U.S. air power, and you half it. Uh, rounding down again, no air power. Holy smoke! Well, the t the dice tur tables have turned. Um, so they're going to use an atom bomb here with a minus three uh, because there's no air power. And boom, a dud. So that makes no difference. So we've got uh, replacements. This guy becomes full strength because he's on a city. Then we go to the random cup, and we see how many units there are. Hopefully no strange effects here. So they get two of them. Um, looks like the closest place here is Memphis. Memphis can come down and help that attack or defend here. So we're hoping uh, we can get this done. No river movement now because they're on the fork. So we're going to put them there. Okay. And that's off. So I think I did everything. I did air power. I did replacements here. And I did... Uh, another fizz atom bomb so now it goes to German well definitely movement because they're not adjacent to anything so I'm gonna pause here and see where we go alright German move is done they have now abandoned Savannah to the garrison and pull these guys back one to desperately cover here um, they've left these two units to screen the flank from reinforcements this way uh, they have to do this because, you know, if they got reinforcements here, they could come up here and the U.S. could try and come here and cut them off. If they got reinforcements here, they could come up here and come here and cut them off. Um, and then they're shoving everything up here, SS, Mountain Corps, Panzer Army, two infantry units to take some losses. So we got two attacks here, uh, 16 and 8 is 24 to... Ouch. That's plus 15. Okay, well, we'll do it. Let's do it. Plus 15. Yep, plus 15. And he's... I don't know how to play him. We'll just play him as one step. Oh, uh, 1-1. One, one. Okay. Let's flip this guy. Let's put this guy in the random cup. He wasn't under city, so he couldn't... Um, I'm not going to get him back again, am I? Got to look at that unit. I got the flip and the mask wrong. The flip's working, and the mask's working. Okay. So this guy failed. He's right here now, and this guy's weak. He could come down here and attack there. Oh, boy. Talking about stretching it out. 8 and 4 is 12. 12 and 8 is 20. 20 with a shift. 20 is 17. That's a 15, but it shifts to a 10. Let's see what we get here. A 10 on a 2. 1, 3. He's dead, but we lose another. We can't keep up with these losses. Um, and there is an advance after combat now, too. Actually, a uh, better choice is uh, this guy. Uh, that's good for the flanks. That's good. That's not good. And this guy gets flipped. And uh, they're getting closer. And the last thing is German replacements. Boom. Actually, um, let's do this. Let's say we lost one of these guys, but we got him back with his replacement. i got to be smarter about that. One, two, three hexes from Tulsa. Three hexes from Tulsa. Patton's threatening. Which way should he go? It's another full-on attack here. 
Um, getting close. All right. So now we move into the American turn. There is no opportunity to do that combat move. We just learned the Germans have to do that too. So it's going to be move combat. Uh, the Americans have to move down here and keep these ports screened from what I don't know what. Uh, there's no German reinforcements coming, so they can all just come all the way down here. Yep. Yeah, I don't think, well, they could, no, they can't slip along the coast, so I'm going to pause here, do the U.S. move. All right, this is a race. Patton versus Rommel. That's what I'll say here. Um, big attack down here for the U.S. Getting harder to screen here, but at least now we can probably pull in reinforcements up here, and they can come down and help. Um, doubled up here, stretching thin here too. So uh, this is getting interesting. Let's see how Patton does. Um, eight, so we got six, twelve, plus twenty. I just ruled out that guy. Plus twenty. Uh, yep, that's pretty good odds. The roll says three, four, dead four-step loss and this is permanent dead so it truly is a race here ouch can't make him appear here permanent dead for this guy and there is advance after combat let's send the Marines keep those guys in reserve um, Wow one hex from victory they get right here. Boom. Supply line is cut. Supply line is cut. Alright, that's the end of the U.S. move. Um, and again, no air power either. Uh, wow. And if they put him here, it could have been a slugfest, but this is going for the win. Although putting him out of supply only halves their attack. They could still keep pushing. We'll see. So these guys may live off the land just to go for it here. Um, so that's the end of, if we continued on turn 12. So for example, and I'm probably going to ignore this just to go two more turns, but let's see what happens. Yeah, this would have ended the game too. The Germans would have come up short. So that's two times the Germans would have come up short. but. That's the end of turn 12, but I'm going to push to 13 and see what happens. Okay, um, let's see if we get some showstoppers here. Going to roll for air power. That's one. Well, we know where that's going. Uh, I don't know. See, if I put it here, my nuke attack may work. But if I put it here, I've got defense. If I put it here, I get the best of both worlds. Or if I put it here, I get the best of both worlds, but I can only nuke one unit. Let's put it here, and we're going to nuke this guy. Five. Now that's a hit. That's a hit. Five minus two is three, so, wow. One, two, oops, don't worry, no, no. three. And this may have pretty much stymied it for the Germans. Well, maybe not. I mean, there's still a lot of horsepower here. So the air power is placed. This is done. Do we have any... Oh, replacements. We definitely want those. Let's see how many we get. Okay, we get two. And, uh... Oh, uh, really, this is the battle. I can put them on St. Louis. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not that I need reinforcements down here. Um, or they can go over here. So. That seems to be the best place to put them here. So they can either go this way or that way. So I'll take the move marker off. I have no reduced elite units sitting in a city as far as I know. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, and that evens out now because there were two turns in a row where they had duds. So that's good. So it's a race. Uh, will Rommel get to Tulsa or will Patton get to the Panhandle? And even after he does, there's still half. These units can just move up 
and just like do this last Peter drive here. Um, okay, so that's the American Strategic, and we go to the German turn here. Going to pause. All right, uh, it's getting more desperate here. They're going to go for it. They get a two shift with a concentric, so they've just got to go for it. Um, I don't know if that's enough, but hopefully it'll slow them down. Well, these guys are going to come up this way, but, uh, yeah, they didn't want to waste trying to do two attacks now. Now it's here. They're within two hexes of Tulsa. There is a hole now in the German lines that potentially next turn they could pop a replacement here, but then the Germans could do something to uh, cover it up. So we'll see. Two attacks, and, yeah, no air power support for this one. So let's let's see what they're up against. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button here. Uh, four. Okay, that they can handle. That takes out that infantry, so it's eight, 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 twenty-four. And this unit is on the same riverway, so they don't get the shift. So it's the twenty table. Twenty table. Let's see what they get. Let's see if the Americans can stop them fighting desperately. No. That's four for the Americans. All these units are dead. Four loss. And the German spearheads. Uh, it doesn't matter which one advances. Well, this guy's going to be weak. So let's advance this guy. Wow. So that's that attack. Um, Rommel is within two... Well, it's the 20th mountain of all things. Within two axes of Tulsa, and here's a cool rule, I mean, here's a rule. U.S. units cannot be placed in Tulsa. It just defends with a strength of six, but it's also a city, so it gets a two shift. Um, wow. Wow. Okay, let's see how this goes. This is a plus, four, four is eight, six, plus two, with a two column shift. So that's here, so it goes to the four. And on a four, they get a two. That is a... Oof. No, that's not a good roll. I think it's game over here. <laughs> um, one of these units has to flip. More units can attack him than can attack him, so it's just going to be this guy. Because I think the U.S. is going to do a combat move. Uh, yeah, that may have done it, that counterattack. If, if they had eliminated this unit... Well, and without losses, but uh, these guys are going to have to live off the land. So that's the end of the German phase. So now we go to the U.S. phase. Um, well, they could do a plus five on this guy and then a uh, plus nine on this guy. <coughs> yep, that's what they're going to do. Patton is going to do the combat move maneuver. So let's see what happens here. Uh, which attack do I want to do first? Does it matter? Well, if which one gives me the best odds? Eight and five is thirteen. Minus four is nine. Uh, no, plus five. All of them are going to be plus five, or this one is going to be plus five. So we're back to the crapshoot. One or two on either roll, and it's game over. So who would we want to do first? Um, this, well, no, here. He's only got one step. Uh, this is our backup one or two. Let's take this shot here. So that's going to be nine. That's going to be a plus five against one step. Oh, that's it. Game over. Um, well, maybe not. The Germans can do something desperate, but this is another dead German infantry unit. Uh, advanced after combat really doesn't matter anymore. So the question is, do I even want to attack here? Uh, I'm thinking I don't because I need the units to be able to shut the door here. So we are going to pass on that attack. Uh, so that's it. That's the end of the U.S. Oh, no, it's not. That's the combat phase. Now it's U.S. movement. Let's see what they do.
Alright, German supply lines are effectively cut here. Um, but let me check one other thing. Alright, I think we're done here. Um, wow. I'm tempted to move this guy up here, actually. That's better. Well, I could put him here. That's better. So, hopefully, their supply lines are blocked. So, all these units over here are half strength. Half strength, half movement. Uh, we see the last line of defense in front of Tulsa. This is bringing it down to the wire. Um, so, that's the U.S. move. Let's get the air power out of the way. Uh, just for the heck of it, yeah, the game would have ended again. Uh, they would have come up short, the Germans. But that's okay, we'll play one more turn because Rommel is at the gates of Tulsa, but Patton is washing his feet on the Gulf Coast on the Panhandle. All German supplies are cut off. Alright, so we'll play one more turn. Alright, first big roll for air power. Nice, they get two. Alrighty, well. I think we can place one here. That'll give these guys a shift. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to drop an atom bomb. Where else could we place air power? We could put it here, here. Um, I don't know what the advantage... They're, they've got to go for Tulsa, so that one covers Tulsa. And a drop here. Now, we could also put one near here to drop on these two units. Um... Really no reason to drop on any of these other. They're half strength. There's not much here. Oh, uh, let's put one right here. And the atom bomb here. Let's see if they die out right that short, survey says. No, that's a dud. All right, so that's it. Um, and it is the German phase, and uh, let's look at their options here. They... Nope, with this other... Well, there's a hole here. Wait a minute, did I mess that up? No, I didn't. It's right here. So if I kill here, then there's a hole here, and then unrealistically, we could run supply this way. No, that's not realistic. Um, if they really wanted to attack to get supply back, what would they have to do? All right, there is. Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a way to do it. Um, wow. Okay. Here's how we do it. We pretty much all bets are off now. Oh, uh, we didn't place American replacements. Hold on. Ouch. Let's do that. Uh, let's see. So we rolled for air power. We got two air power. The atom bomb was a fizz. And let's see how many they get. They get four. They get two. Now, do we want to do anything hokey? Uh, yeah, we could drop one here. Um, uh, we could drop one here, but I don't think that'd be doing anything. Honestly, it comes down to the Germans trying to do an attack on probably this unit and then a momentum attack on Tulsa. That's the only way. Even though they've lost the game three times already with the die roll, um, we're just playing it out. So, uh, where could they? I mean, they could put it here. They could put it here. They're not going to do it. It all comes down to that. Um, there's no hole here, but there is a hole here. One, two, three, four six. No, then we hit this roll. So that's not a real hole. We could move up here. Those are already done. Um, oh, we could put somebody in Birmingham. We only get two. So, um, you know, what's the goal? Well, they're going to lose units, so Memphis. Yep, Memphis is where they go. Nice central spot. Okay. 
All right, so now it really is a German uh, movement, and uh, I'm going to keep the tape running because I didn't put replacements here so I can pull this stunt. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, let's do it right. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. And there it is. There's a German supply line. There it is. So now it's time to pile on this guy. Who have we got under here? Oh, that's another 849. That's nice. Uh, these guys are all 8s. So. And that's going to be our momentum attack. And those guys are going to go here. Pretty much all bets are off now, even though the game ended three times. Just to push the limit here. Now, what do you do with the rest of these units? I've, I don't know. That's our supply line. I mean, can we make this permanent? No. Uh, I think it's time to pull. Well, we're going to hold that. Actually, if we wanted to do this right, I'm going to do this right. This guy's going to go here. <coughs> this guy's gonna go here. Uh, he could move up one, and but no, we'll keep him here. And it's still moving along the coast here. So I don't know. Maybe this. I don't like being adjacent to. They'll still crush this, but. But, uh, let's move this guy here, this guy moves here. So if they did want to do something here, that was a mistake on my part. Instead of doubling it up, I should have been on a solid line. Um, wow. Well. <laughs> that means if they put anything back here, we're, we're done. I mean, this is it. This is the last gasp. But they did, uh, they've got a supply line now. It kind of runs here, here, and then zock, zock, doesn't cover it. Boom. And then they got supply. Wow. Go back and look at the previous turn. Count that as an error, but that gives us this final gasp of attack. Let's see if they can do it. That's one unit. Oh, Bummer. So they got 24, 32, 36 minus 8. That does it. They're on the 25 column with a shift. 20 column, the attack before the gates of Tulsa. And here we go. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's it, boys and girls. <laughs> Dang. They could have won. I wonder... They failed. And even if they got here intact, they would have had 24-6 with a 2-shift. 24-6 would have taken them to uh, here. And then they would have been on the plus 5. And then they could have won the game. With that. Wow. Alright, well... Bottom line is that six killed him right at the gates of Tulsa. It's all over. And now uh, the U.S. is going to put the hammer down. <sighs> so really no distinctive. Well, they lost. They rolled a six. When it needed. They rolled a six which was a one and one and they would have come up short. They needed to get two hits. So what did we say it was? Let's check this here. Four and eight is twelve. Well four times at thirty six. They were in the twenty five with a one shift. So actually if they'd rolled anything but a six, holy smoke. Well let's assume they rolled a five just for the heck of it. Um 
that means these units would have been dead and this guy would have been flipped and these guys would have moved one hex and then they would have done a momentum attack 24 to 6 um, and like we said that is a but a two shift so 23 times 8 is 8 and 8 is 60 yeah 24 here with a two shift would have been the 10 column and then they would have won and they would have advanced into Tulsa and won but again uh, the game ended on three different occasions this would have assumed that they rolled at least last turn a six to keep the game going um, and then probably could have revisited this we'll count that as a mistake if they had been out of supply they couldn't have pulled that off so should have looked at that option where the Germans could have put units in here to uh, seal it off and allow them to do the attack but the six Rommel came up short uh, and the, actually the German economy collapsed three times so I think it clearly was a US win but uh, we are seeing that even the US can run out of units and then on the Japanese front it could have been tighter too so it wasn't as one-sided as I thought uh, so definitely worth a uh, replay again to uh, test some of the salient points about get a port on the first turn so the US can't atom bomb your beachhead try and take out these Manhattan projects um, to reduce those odds I really wonder if there's a strategy for the Axis to take 26 cities. Um, the Germans didn't expand fast enough. The Japanese, it was over when the beachhead was A-bombed the first time. Uh, and then they got trapped up there. So maybe the strategy is the German strategy. Don't worry about Manhattan Project. Although, if you can get Seattle, there's two Manhattan Projects here. Uh, that would be awesome. You could, if you could get Seattle with the port, take out the two Manhattan projects up here, up north. Then you're in good shape to count 26 cities because Tulsa is quite a distance away for the Japanese, so they may have to do the 26 trick, which I didn't count. Um, so that's interesting there. Uh, and then for the Germans, I guess you could go for 20. I'd have to count, you know, if you go up here, it's going to be the 26 you're going for. I don't, I mean, I think, yeah, this is the shortest path to Tulsa. Landing here in the Carolinas and or Georgia. I mean, even Florida, but then you're pretty much locking yourself down. But, yeah, this drive here does extend them, too, so... Uh, yeah, it's interesting. Actually, now that I've played it once and I understand the tactics and stuff, uh, definitely worth a, a retry here at some point. And then, uh, let me pull these up real quick. Yeah, these are the two variants I downloaded from BGG earlier. Um, Mississippi Banzai, Germany and Japan, uh, U.S. has been divided, blah, blah, blah. No U.S. mobile units are used. U.S. garrison units are used according to the uprising rule. Wow. U.S. air power is used to represent German and Japanese air power. Oh. All German and Japanese units are done. First airborne is an airborne unit. First army Japanese, they have it. Uh, and then the Mississippi. All city hexes to the west of the Mississippi begin the game under Japanese. Wow. Japanese got all the way to the Mississippi. Let's say Hexus East German control. No garrison marker. Uh, if it changes, place one. No Manhattan. Access set up first. All German be begin on or east of the Mississippi. All west of the Mississippi. Okay. These units begin as one step units. Okay, I guess you flip them over. Elite units begin as two. 16 Japanese 766s begin. Um, and hex control, uh, Japanese con 
San Francisco and New York City just right out of the mini series there and uh, oh there's a nuclear phrase in here Japanese then we got tr axis strategic I guess that's for both Japanese this may be worth looking at random events oh and there's an uprising going on I think there was a uh, I'd have to look at the Mississippi Bonsai game. That's the other one. But then we got air power rules, uh, air supply, replacements, inland waterway, uprising to a U.S. controlled. Uh, uh, if the uprising is partisan unit, garrison attacks the enemy garrison and any other units. Because uprising, oh, that's interesting. Uh, surprise offensive once. Uh, I guess you don't start the phase attacking. A-bombs. America transported them, yep. And that's force pools, okay. Yep, that looks good. Mississippi Bonsai, the Germans and the Japanese. Maybe if I played again, I'd set that up. Although I think it, when, I, when and if I play this again, I'm going to redo this, now knowing what I know. Um, and here's another one. Um, Japan did not achieve when the war ended. Fuse were paid for in German blood. Yada, yada, yada. No U.S. units, U.S. air power. Yada, yada. Here we go. All German units set up in the states of Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, and New Mexico. Well, that is more like the miniseries. The man in the high tower, I think. All Japanese units west of there, 14, da 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 da. San Francisco, Mexico is neutral. Looks like maybe the same as the one we just saw there, 14 turns. Uh, random events, U.S. guerrillas, German air power supply, replacements. There's Japanese airdrop and uh, surprise. Okay, this looks similar. Yeah, I think. I think this looks like a variant where the Japanese didn't get to the Mississippi, which is like the man in the high tower instead. Uh, interesting. Let's see what we got here. Hold on. Uh, Montana. Yeah, but not Northwest Montana. Yep, Northwest Montana fell off the face of the earth. Anyway, I'm being sarcastic here. Uh, oh, and they've got to go for these cities. That's good to know. So this is really much a German offensive here. Kind of like the man in the high tower. Uh, all German. Okay, where did I see that here? Dragnach, Pacific, Nach. Uh, all German units set up in the states of Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, and New Mexico. Got to go a little further here. There, next, New Mexico, Colorado, Wyoming, and Montana. So that's the front lines here. And the German goal is to get to the Japanese West Coast. Yeah, that looks interesting, too. Actually, yeah, there's some interesting stuff here. Uh, the rules aren't too hard. Uh, interesting mechanic move combat combat move. Let's, that's something Ty used over in Operation Unthinkable, um, which I'm kind of familiar with. Momentum attacks and uh, probing attacks, similar to what he did over in Operation Unthinkable, to kind of keep things moving. Um, the only pr thing I'd be concerned about with the game is what I had to do the house house rule, because. Um, of the way U.S. replacements are uh, after finishing off the Japanese, then if you follow the rules exactly, you know half the replacements would go to the West Coast where they really weren't needed anymore, nobody was there, and half would go to the East Coast, and the only losses were occurring on the East Coast. So that would have artificially caused, in my mind, a bleed of units over to the West Coast, shrinking the size of units here. So um, I don't, you know, I don't think that eventuality was taken into effect, so there may be house rules on if one theater or the other basically gets wiped out, how do you handle replacements and maybe even transferring units between the fronts. Because, um, yeah, like I said, 
this would have become kind of like a drain of US units here as they died half would end up over here and the US forces over here where the Germans were would slowly shrink while these would grow but there's no opposition here so it kind of flies in the face of logic I mean you'd be putting units here so my house rule was you know as long as the US had enough cities they get one replacement for every five cities here in which they had no problem doing I just said every turn they'd get half the replacements back and the other half would stay in the cup um, so that's the only thing I'd worry about with the game here but uh, yeah just playing it through showed me that uh, the Germans had got an earlier start this could have been a possibility but once they hit the wall I mean you know with the right rolling they're doing it on turn 16 but are you really gonna get to turn 16 I mean with I don't know I could calculate the odds but you'd have to roll greater than one here greater than two here greater than three here greater than four here greater than five here you know somewhere in here you're gonna you know the odds of getting all the way to here uh, kinda hard and I've made some tactical errors I kinda flubbed on the supply stop I didn't think of this uh, German unit Zox um, and coming along this beach here maybe I should have extended it further and then the Germans though would have attacked and just temporarily punched a hole and then yeah here's the problem when you get too close to Tulsa uh, they were forced this time to defend in front of it because they can't put units here and it, that gives them the momentum attack and we got this monster stack of big units I don't know where the other guy went um, so yeah it's possible but like I said uh, the Germans lost the game on die rolls three times in a row at the end of the turn so they didn't make it and even if I took the first roll here they were repulsed at the gates of Tulsa uh, that was a 1-1 one, one. so they were stopped even there but if they had pulled it off if all the dice had been in alignment for the end of the turn and then these last attacks and probably had to revisit this you know maybe they could have made it but in the end in hindsight yeah this is a playable monster uh, that's what I'd call it at this point using that battle for Germany technique of one player playing you know uh, one access side and the US theater and then the other access side and the opposite US theater just like we saw in battle for Germany except the roles reversed one playing the Western Allies and the East Eastern Germans and the other playing the Soviets and the Western Germans um, so yeah and then the the atom bomb is an interesting twist too so and then you saw the variant on BGG for strategic bombing so there, there's there's a lot here I, I'm gonna put this back on the list to revisit here so anyway um, this comes to the end comments are appreciated if you enjoyed this click like uh, I did get three turns in here so this ran a little long I apologize um, going the wrong way here I'm trying to get to shorter recordings not longer but uh, hopefully this gave you an idea of the game and yeah I actually seems like fun and then you throw in those two other variants from BGG and there's there's some gameplay here um, so yeah, I'd recommend this game so anyway thanks for listening and subscribe to for future recordings and see you next time as we leave the U.S. of A. in the alternate 1946 history where actually they held on.